All right, the update is finally here. I was getting pretty worried, man. It was like almost, like the day was almost over and we hadn't gotten this update. But uh, no, it is here. It finally came, hallelujah. And I don't know how many more we're gonna get since this is the first one uh, after the release of the movie. But I'm just gonna say it, guys. As long as they keep dropping these updates, I will come back. Not once, not twice, but as many times as I like. Yes, so we have the update. But before I get into this update, I'm gonna mention a couple things since we've all seen the movie, I'm assuming, if you're watching the video. So the first thing I'm gonna go over is uh, something that I was thinking when I first saw the movie, but also that someone had mentioned in the comments, which was the tenure gap thing that was mentioned in this website. So someone asked if I had heard like any discussion on it, if I had heard any talk about it, or if they just missed it. And I was like, uh, nope, that is not just a you thing. We didn't get any talk about that. Which kind of goes into what I was saying in my review where like, the movie didn't feel as full circle as like I was hoping as far as like, not only just expanding, but like, again, all the marketing, all the teasing up to that point to when we finally got the movie. It wasn't that full circle conclusion that I hoped it would be as far as like the lore and everything and, you know, wrapping everything up and making everything kind of come together and everything and tying everything up. So my personal theory as to why he didn't kill <laughs> in that 10 years because, well, there's probably just no birthday that landed in line with his pattern as far as his killings like was mentioned in the movie, but it also would have been nice to just see what he was doing to see them like address that and to kind of show like <laughs> maybe his, his side of what he was doing in that time. <laughs> you know, maybe he was just making fucking dolls. I don't know. Another thing that someone mentioned uh, in the comments, which was something that I was thinking about, was why did he target Lee Harker and her mom? Obviously, you know, she didn't have a father figure in the picture, so that wouldn't really line up as far as like his pattern and the murders as well, you know, speaking of patterns and everything. Now my theory, which I, what I was uh, hearing is that like this was a, a lot of other people's theories, is that the big reveal would be that he was her father, but then again, when he like showed up and the mom has a gun and everything, she like asks who he is and he goes, you know, I'm a friend of a friend. So I'm like, well, that's obviously not her father then. It just doesn't add up to me. What I wish, thinking about this now and seeing the movie twice, what I wish would have been like a scene is that when she's interrogating him in the jail scene, like she had asked that question, she would have been like, I noticed your pattern. I've seen all the families that you go after. Why me? <laughs> like, what what is so special for me? Because I'm so much different than all the others. Why did you come after me? So that's just kind of what I'm saying. Like, as far as like a c conclusion, building off of all of the marketing, all of the hype, and being the final product, the actual film itself, as far as like tying everything together, it just did not do its best with a lot of things that we really, you know, that I, I at least was like really theorizing, really like <laughs> anticipating to see like how they were gonna address it and what the end of and like result and reveals were gonna be. Which I am actually just gonna say now. This is what I'm hoping for in this update. Since it is the first update after the movie, and I was even saying like, in the past updates, I was like, oh, I wonder if they're gonna talk about like, Lee Harker and everything. I wonder if this update is finally gonna talk about Lee Harker. Maybe it's gonna even address some of the things that like, you know, we have issues with, like answering some of the questions, what he did in those 10 years, why he went after Lee Harker. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna get into this update or how much more we're gonna get, but I'm hoping that with these updates, we kind of like get more answers as to like, you know, some things that were left out in the movie, which still, that wouldn't make me feel too much better as to like why they didn't just like answer it in the movie for those that like aren't reading into this whole website. I mean, just in general, it would be nice to have those answers, but still, it just feels like the movie didn't do all that it should or could have. Also, the last thing I'm gonna say before I actually get into the update now, I don't know like what you guys, you know, choose to take away from this. It's just something I kind of like notice, especially on the second watch. Did you guys catch that like throughout the movie, Nicolas Cage's character, Longlegs, wherever he is, he's always downstairs in the end reveal where it turns out he's in the basement of uh, Lee Harker's house. Downstairs, right underneath him, during the jail scene, when Lee Harker asks, where is he right now? The person that like she's talking to, the girl says, Oh, he's downstairs, right underneath you. I was like, that had to be in intentional. I just noticed that, I thought that was really interesting that I bring it up. But yes, we are finally gonna get into the update now. The last thing we read was, wasn't it the, uh, the questions? I remember seeing all this. Yeah, I remember the reader's column, so don't forget to look. That's new. 
How is it that you know? So Yeah, so this was the last thing we read was like, people's theories on asking. Wow, I never thought of this. Thank you for the fresh perspective, Chloe. I remember reading that. If you have any information relating to this case, please feel free to contact me with more comments, questions, and theories. So that was the last thing we got. So it looks like, seeing the reader's column and everything, it looks like we're getting more questions. Maybe this will be questions that people are asking after seeing the movie. I think that that would be a really interesting thing as far as like an update regarding, you know, the an update after the movie's release. All right, so let's get into it. What do you think, loyal readers? Is this the most gruesome case we've ever covered? What, just the long legs case in general? What about the poor families? Did all these fathers suddenly snap and become homicidal maniacs? No. It beggars belief, doesn't it? More likely, these crimes were orchestrated by a lone psychopath calling himself long legs. But how did he get the fathers to do his bidding? I feel like <laughs> these questions should have been also released before the movie, because now we're answering these questions. We know these all, all these answers. Is it even worth it to go into these ones? Who or what is Longlegs? Will he continue to kill or will he be caught? Uh, he got caught. He's dead. Are there more murders we don't know about? <laughs> that is an interesting question. I never thought about that. That's fun. As prolific as the Longlegs killer has been, it's quite possible that there are many more victims that have yet to be discovered. Ooh, I... <laughs> In a sick, fucked up way as a fan of Longlegs, I hope so. I hope so. As I said earlier, I've been following this case for years and I have several theories, many of which I'll share with you in my next entry. Cool, cool. For now, don't lose sight of the most <laughs> salient fact of this case. Is that how you pronounce that? Longlegs has never been apprehended. That's right, he's still out there, still at large, still prowling the streets at night, scoping his next victims, planning his next shocking and heinous murders. So don't forget to, lock, to close your windows and lock your doors. Longlegs is still out there. I don't remember reading this. I don't even remember seeing this. Was this... This wasn't released before the movie, right? Yeah, this had to... This was released after. But why? <laughs> this stuff is irrelevant now. <laughs> well, most of it is, except, like, the part where he's... Where it asks, uh, are there more victims? That I want to know. All right. Reader's column. Uh, yeah, looks like more questions. Let's see if these are questions relating to the movie now that we've seen it. I'd like to give a special thanks to the anonymous to an anonymous reader who forwarded me a strange vinyl record they found buried in their neighborhood. Is it T-Rex? With symbols on the cover that resemble the ones of the letters left by behind by long legs, the forensics expert, experts uh, I'm in contact with have estimated its original pressing date was in the mid-1960s, but there's been no sign of who produced the record or its original origin. Why did you make this website? <laughs> Christy Caraz. Car Caraz. <laughs> Wait, so what's up with the with the record? You're not going to expand on that? Who forwarded me a strange vinyl? <laughs> Are you going to show it? <laughs> I want to see it. I want to listen to it. Ooh, maybe that'll be one of the one of the uh, <laughs> uh, files in this update is that we can hear what's on the vinyl. Why did you make this website? <laughs> I've grown su sufficiently frustrated with the lackluster efforts of the local Oregon Police Department. Who I believe who I believe could have connected the dots far earlier had they been competent enough. I mean, yeah, you bring in a 20 year old psychic and she cracks the case like that, which I, I still wasn't very happy with in the movie. They could have gone so much harder with just other than just like having a psychic come in. With the limited access I've, re re I've recently received to files from my FBI contact, I thought the World Wide Web might be able to notice things I haven't been able to yet. How long do you think it will take for another family to follow the same fate? Never, I dearly hope. That is my intent for making this weblog in the first place. Wait, what do you mean? How long do you think it will take for another family to follow the same fate? Longlegs is dead. One, Longlegs has something against Catholic people. Maybe he suffered abuse when he was a kid and that's why he targets these families? <laughs> Lee Harker... I don't know if she's Catholic. The mom keeps asking... Do you, like, are you still saying your prayers? So, maybe they were Catholic, and maybe that's why he targeted them? I don't know, that's kind of a stretch, though, because there's still no father figure. He might have scoped out the homes for a while before making his move. I don't know how he'd do it without alerting the families, though, but it makes the most sense to me. What if Longleg sends the fathers his letter, and that's what makes them carry out the murder? Maybe it's blackmail or something. He tells them what to do and where to put his letter. Nope, the... 
Dolls makes them makes them do it. Yeah, I don't know. This kind of seems like <laughs> irrelevant. All this stuff has been answered since we've seen the movie. Points two and three are fantastic perspectives I hadn't considered before. I myself am, uns am unsure of how he was able to evade notice of a family, but at least we have the community sightings of the situation or of the station wagon near the Wormwood killings. I just wanted to know if you find it odd that Longlegs purposefully chooses to target openly religious families, specifically families of the Catholic of the Catholic uh, denomination. Apart from that, it's obvious he is quite fond of families with young daughters. I wonder what the big deal about that is. Anyway, I, I think it's safe to say that this is all stemming from some religious aspect. It seems to me that he carries a deep hatred for Christian figures and their arrogance in believing that God is sovereign. Yeah, I, I, I wish it really went into all these questions, man. It, it, it's funny because I'm like, have these questions? We got the answers for. And they just kind of like weren't that fulfilling. As far as the answers for questions that we did have, the answers that we did get, it didn't seem like they were huge answers, like big reveals. And then other questions were just kind of kind of blanked and forgotten about in the movie. <laughs> Longlegs certainly looks <laughs> to have an issue with Catholic Catholicism, I agree. I mean, I'm not trying to like sound like I'm shitting on the film. I liked it. Like I still thought it was good. I just don't think it was the best or everything that it could have been or like what we we were expecting could the church be involved <laughs> these people are all were christians and people can do insane things in the name of god maybe Longlegs was a preacher or a priest or some other religious figure making him trustworthy to the families and allowing him to worm his way into the minds of them just a theory the investigation thoroughly examined the members of each parish the victim the victimized families attended all congregants and members of the church cleared any suspicious suspicions and none of the priests were found to have any criminal histories violent violent or otherwise <laughs> that would have been a cool thing to incorporate in the movie too doing like the investigation like <laughs> interviewing people from churches and stuff people from schools people that like knew the families like really see seeing this whole like investigation play out that would have been so cool cool man why were a majority of the suicides done with weapons other than the ones used for the murders why were a majority of the suicides done with weapons other than the ones used? Oh yeah, that, that is a good question actually. This is the one thing I kept thinking while looking at all the cases and I'm very curious if there's a meaning behind it. I am just as mystified by this fact as you are. <laughs> Great, you're the one that made the website though. You're the dude behind the marketing of the movie. Answer the damn questions, the movie's out. Just the thought, what was the gap between killings 1974 and 87? Because that's 13 years. Okay, 10, 13, whatever. We're getting to the bottom of it. I'm not looking. I don't want to say we're getting to the bottom of it. Because it seems like the person running this website is just like, huh, good question. Next. That's not rewarding. That's not fulfilling. Could also be a significant number for some satanic shit. <laughs> I like that, Jessica. <laughs> for some satanic shit. <laughs> While there hasn't been any sufficient connection between Longlegs' absence and pre-existing satanic rituals, it definitely calls for a second look. Yes. Where's the answer? How do we get it? Because <laughs> it's not in the movie. I have a theory that Longlegs is attempting to recreate an event from his past. Go on. Do you have any idea if there was a murder-suicide involving that may have left a son alive? Do you have any idea if there was a murder-suicide involving that may have left a son alive? What do you mean? It would have had to have been at least a few decades before the first murder, but it could result in a solid lead. <clears throat> I'll have to look into that, into this Dragonborn. As far as I'm aware, the only murder-suicides investigated in this time period involved families with little girls. My husband and I also noticed that the number of stab wounds increases each case. Does it? That's a really cool thing to notice. And that many of the names associated with the families or even their last names are biblical in nature. Applewhite, the apple forbidden fruit. Wormwood, clo wormwood, clover, the only place it's mentioned in the Bible is in Proverbs 16, 24 to 25. Gracious speech is like clover honey. Good taste to the soul, quick energy for the body. There's a way that looks harmless enough. Look again. It leads straight to hell. Damascus being the first murder and the road 
on which Saul was blinded by Jesus on his way to murder Christians and a few others. We, co we collectively agree that Longlegs is inspired by biblical references, but as to the pattern of wounding, we have very little understanding of why. The symbols left behind are currently biblical, but we ought to re-examine the cases with this perspective in mind. I believe I can jump on top of Isaac's theory. <coughs> Who's Isaac? Who's the... <coughs> Wait, Isaac's theory? Was there an Isaac up here? <coughs> I believe I can jump on top of Isaac's theory and suggest that Longlegs is the father of a deceased family. Maybe. But if that's the case... What's what's the story behind his, the deceased family? Were they murdered? I don't I don't see why that would, you know, like inspire a guy to become a devil worshiper and you know kill people the way he does. Where is Isaac? Is there? I don't see an Isaac. Maybe I'm just scrolling past it, <laughs> but I didn't see an Isaac. Matt, Paula. Owen, Ethan, <coughs> Jessica, Dragonborn, Morgan, <laughs> Avery. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't see Isaac. Okay, anyway, I believe I can jump on top of Isaac's theory and suggest that Longlegs is a father of a deceased family. I believe he could be cursing God for what <coughs> had happened. Okay, maybe. And that's why he had turned to Satanism to purify the houses of people who have what he doesn't. I believe his delusions are an attempt to bring his family back and he kills for this purpose, to be a vessel for the spirits of the dead. Interesting theory. I, I certainly agree we're dealing with a dangerous and delusional individual. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Hello. I think that long legs attacks families with innocence. Satanic cults tend to come, out, come after innocence for sacrifice. While the involvement of a cult seems dubious, this is a fascinating commonality again amongst the cases in which the target... Targeted families were quite pious individuals. Jesus, that was a really obnoxious sentence to read. Do you have an eyewitness accounts of what the suspects might look like? The only eyewitnesses of a suspect occurred when neighbors spotted an elderly woman near the ware home. <laughs> Which we didn't we didn't get anything on that in the movie either, did we? Unless it was uh Harker's mother. But I don't know if I'd call her elderly. Question, how do we know Longlegs is a male? Maybe a female. Oh, yeah, these are these are all questions, obviously, from people before seeing the movie. We technically don't. Historical precedent is what leads us to believe Longlegs is a male, as there have been little references to serial killers committed by women. Wait, serial, kill, serial murders committed by women. It does draw questions as to who the elderly woman seen outside the warehome was. Yeah, and why just the wear home, too? I believe Longlegs had a daughter who was brutally murdered and the murderer was never found, which drove Longlegs over the edge and resulted in them setting out to take other people's daughters in revenge. I'm going to look into the history of child murders in Oregon and get back to you on whether there's any anything of substance with this theory. Wait, I'm going to get back to you, so does that mean we're going to get another another update after this? Hi, I've been studying psychology for a while, and this case intrigued me. He is set on families with girls only and families who are well adjusted in the community. The fathers are all killed with 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 a gun. <laughs> are all killed with with a gun. <laughs> One shot, meaning his focus and anger is directed towards the women and, and girls. Maybe he had his own family that his wife was unfaithful and his own child slash children was not his own. His big absence cooling off period could have than that he was incarcerated for a short time for something unrelated. Nope. <laughs> and always a pink birthday card as well as it always being close to a birthday, pointing maybe that he had his own daughter and lost her close to her birthday. That I can see. I don't think it was more than one person, as if it, as if it was only him. An easy way to control the parents are to threaten them with a child. It will make them do anything he says like having them tie each other up wait it will make them do anything he says like having them tie each other up and have them at his mercy act etc i don't know what that means another theory is was there a different way he had them subdued because why did none of the neighbors hear any screaming or the gunshots just a few thoughts i had on this case 
Hopefully something else comes up and they can catch them. It is suspect that the neighbors never heard struggle. However, a large amount of these crimes were committed in secluded rural communities. I do agree that his absence may have been spurred by a brief incarceration. However, an, out an analysis of arrest rec records during this time period turned up short. Second, Red Toy Piano. Yeah, we never saw anything about that in the movie, too. Nothing on the Red Piano. Red Toy Piano belonging to the deceased little girls was found in the victims' homes. Any chance the coded message, the coded messages in musical notes or a song? Visually, it could look like lines of music v sentences. Is he leaving so song clues? Something done on birthdays, especially kids singing happy birthday. Was there a local music teacher who would give out pianos during lessons? Where was the toy sold during that time period? Was it in a fast food kids toy like McDonald's? Yeah, see, and that's another thing. It's like, why mention, why even bring up something like the red piano in the marketing and like have it connect and like leave that like ominous and kind of cryptic if it's not even mentioned period in the movie? The music teacher theory is a compelling one. Unfortunately, we have found we haven't found enough evidence to support it. Potentially, potentially, long legs could have an interest in burgeoning female musicians based on this clue. But the point of connection is lost on both me and my law enforcement contacts. <laughs> the thing I'm trying to wrap my head around is the statement made about other items left at the scene. Specifically, in nearly every case, a red toy piano belonging to the deceased little girls was found in the victim's homes. I don't know about you, but I'm finding it a bit odd that not only did nearly every murder have had a red toy piano, but that has also belonged to one of the children found murdered in the home. It's almost like the doll thing. Every little girl had a doll, but the red piano, yeah, I wonder what's up with that. I've been in contact with many a little girl, and none of them have owned a red toy piano. Where are these coming from, and how are they coming to the little girls? Contests, church, the killer handing them out before he offed them? Even if all of the little girls played piano, how would they all randomly pick the same red toy piano? They wouldn't. It's not random. Seems like an effing strange Seems like an effing strange coincidence. Also, after a bit, the killer started using a pink envelope. Oddity number two. Thirdly, the exaggeration of the rage and use of tools doesn't make sense. Usually a single assailant, assailant uses one method of killing and only switches by necessity or due to the need for more brutality. That brings me to the level of violence in each assault. It seems to go up and down almost like a roller coaster, which doesn't make sense. His rage, which is apparent in the brutality, ebbs and flows with each murder being sometimes nicer and sometimes more vicious. Doesn't make sense, especially if his motives involve his letters which for years no one cared about slash could solve. The, e the ebbs and flows of brutality within these cases are yet another aspect that has mystified law enforcement. The long wig spree has no precedent in other serial murder cases investigated. Did the police investigating the, late, the later murders, 1987, 89, and 92, consider the possibility that a copycat or someone inspired by the original Long Lakes killer was responsible? While there were a number of killers associated with occultism within that time period, forensics show that the letters left after his hiatus matched the cards and handwriting from his initial spree. Do you think it's possible that Oral Wrench was an acolyte slash disciple of long legs or possibly just a fan copycat of the killer oral wrench wait didn't they say that like they like were able to prove that he had nothing to do with it oh yeah that's right he got hit in the head it didn't say how like who who did it <clears throat> and was in fact killed by long legs maybe long legs didn't like the fact that he was a suspect and was seen as almost taking credit for the killings damn can you imagine that for like killing someone Damn it, you're not the killer, I'm the killer, I'll prove it. This would entirely buck the trend of the previous killings in which entire Catholic family units were targeted. It's possible that he was inspired by the killings, however, the identity of Longwigs is one that has been shielded from the public for far too long, and one I seek to bring the public's attention. Do you think Oral Wrench was aware of the identity of Longwigs? Rather than claiming the fame of the birthday murders, he vehemently denied involvement and repeatedly asked to be removed from suspicion. Almost as if he was afraid of the wrath of stealing the real killer's thunder. Oh no, these are from two different people. Huh. <laughs> we have no reason or indication to believe that Wrench was, affi was affiliated with or aware of Longwigs at the time of this spree. 
I find it interesting that Rinch relocated to Oregon from Idaho, tried to start a satanic cult in the area on several occasions, but was seemingly unsuccessful. He commits murders similar to Longleg's, but vehemently denied involvement with the Longleg's murders, and it's clear he wanted no credit for anything to do with Longleg's. Not quite sure how he was released from prison after killing four girls, but he was. And then he just so happens to wind up dead. Rinch was clearly afraid of long legs. Maybe he tried to start a cult, but long legs was, sata was the satanic powers and principalities. To take a term from the Bible in that area already. Wayne Allen Stump wasn't stated to be involved in the occult, didn't seem afraid of long legs, and didn't meet the same end as Wrench. So either Longlegs is just very proud of the murders he commits or they are very personal for some reason. Definitely feeling like they're personal. Definitely uh, feeling on that side more. Again, we found no indication that Wrench was in contact with Longlegs or any of his victims. It's possible that the satanic panic inspired a batch of the serial killer's motives and not necessarily Longlegs himself. I've been following your site for a little while and noticed some things that jumped out at me about the case. The first is that I do believe the fathers might have killed their own families, but not while in their right minds. Around the 70s and 80s, when the majority of the murders occurred, there was some controversy about the idea around the idea of subliminal messages in music. I wonder if Long Leagues was inspired by this as a way to murder by proxy via suggestion and maybe drugging. That would explain why he never had to enter the house. It certainly seems like Longlegs is just one person, since we've got one suspicious car, one person on the CCTV footage, <laughs> one quite unique description. The red toy piano also stuck out to me a lot. What do you what do you know about this model of piano? Does it play a particular tune, and or can it be programmed or hacked easily? Finally, while all the victims appear to be the picture of family harmony on the surface, no family is perfect in real life. That is not to disrespect the dead. I'm not implying that the fathers were abusive, but I wonder if the ultra-perfect images of the families on the surface are preventing anyone from noticing a deeper connection. Honestly, the whole case makes me glad I'm an atheist from an atheist family with a brother. You know, that, that reminded me of uh, something uh, in the movie. Uh, Carrie Ann. It, it says, like, from all, all, the, all this stuff, that, like, he only killed, like, picture-perfect families. That's kind of like what we, you know had gathered. But remember, Carrie Ann, w w that, that wasn't a picture-perfect family. She was very distant from her, like, mother and father. She even said that, like, she was a handful and that, like, the way that she was born and everything, there was, like, a really disturbing uh, background behind that. So, I don't know. That one, as well as, obviously, the Lee Harker one, it just doesn't make sense as far as his killings. And I pre previously mentioned there were no indications with within the communities or local crime reports that there were any domestic issues occurring within the victimized households. Your theory is interesting, but feels a bit too steeped in the satanic panic I referenced earlier. I'm just asking, who are you? We don't have a name or anything. I understand if you wish to remain anonymous for online purposes, but I feel really weird you know all of this and aren't giving your name out. I'm just a friend of a friend of a friend. And this friend wants me to stay? Wait a minute! We have no... Wait, so... Wait! So that's someone who's obviously... Taking the, uh, the torch from long legs, it seems. Because he says a friend of a friend. And then the mom, uh, Harker's mom says the same thing. But they both died. Because Harker shot her mom in the head. Is this Harker asking all this? Because remember, after, after she, like, couldn't kill... The doll, we don't really know what happened. We don't know if that means that, like, she's going to get possessed and continue killing, like, following uh, her mother's footsteps. I don't know. Why did they want people to ask, and why are they giving such vague answers? Let's weblog in the first place. How long do you think it will take? Near, never, I dearly hope. So, I don't know. It do I mean, that's an interesting kind of, like, reveal kind of ending, but, like, the way that they're answering <laughs> and didn't they say that they're like an fbi person didn't they say that because they keep mentioning like fbi contacts i don't know all right but it looks like we got a new file here that's a we got a couple a's in there all right so we had a uh, slash this way and then an a 
So the slash going this way was B. So we got B A, B A upside down T, and then slashes going the other way. Slash going the other other way are a G. Upside down T is N. So we got bang, bang A, B A N G A, G, bang uh. I'm gonna have to write this down. So we got bang, and then another a g, and then the l. That was what's the l? An o, and then upside down t, which was n, and then these, which is g, bang, bang a gong. So we got bang a gong. All right, so we're gonna get this file. We're gonna bang the gong. All right. Okay, I remember seeing those these two guys because that's what they find in the in the barn. And then the uh, the chief uh, he gives it to Harker and it shows that. All right, so that's that's an image we've already seen. And what I was hoping for also is that like now that I've seen the movie, I was hoping that like. With the with the photos that we've already gotten, the ones that like we're obviously getting in this update, that we would have more context, that we would be able to understand or like notice something new about them. But yeah, doesn't look like it. This is just another the like, same photo photo that we've already gotten. Oh, we got the pages now. Taught the existence of Satan. Wait, this is spirit spiritism. So that that's that's something new because the other ones were souls and then like um, like magic. Occult psychology, that's a new one as well. Essays in occultism, <laughs> damn it! Why, why are these all new? These are all like of like different chapters and shit, or or different books or something. Cause essays in occultism, occult psychology, and even then, chapter or page three, hundred and ten, uh, hundred and nine. Now, why did Jesus Christ, the Son of God, our Redeemer and Savior, become man? Okay, no, yeah, so these these two connect. <laughs> so I still want to do that follow-up video where I'm uh, I'm connecting all, all the pages and, you know, digging into all the files and everything. We didn't see this photo. Okay, no, we did see this photo, the pineapple. Or at least I remember talking about the pineapple in one of the updates. <laughs> oh! We got another song. I wonder if that's something from the vinyl. This is some sinister shit. I think this is what was on the vinyl. God. Oh God, that creeped all over me. I didn't like that at all. all right, what's this? Chapter page nine. <laughs> so this doesn't connect to any of those. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna save all these for another video. With that, that reveal, that causes more theories, even after seeing the movie, like the movie already has an ending that like it's very kind of hard to con to like explain to get right. Obviously, has a lot of analyzing, a lot of theories, a lot of rewatching. Maybe this is Harker that made that made this website. I don't know. I want to hear your guys' thoughts, especially. But uh, yeah, that is going to do it for this update. I'm thinking that this is probably going to be the last update. This looks like it's it's an ending. Also, have you guys noticed this? Check it out. They get shorter. It's like a little pyramid. But um, yes, guys, that is going to do it for this website. Let me know what you guys really thought about this, this ending here. I need to hear it, guys. Also, all the questions that were asked that I had issues with, I'd love to hear you guys' theories. You guys have, have uh, always been uh, people to 
you know, comment your own thoughts, which I absolutely love. I love talking to you guys. I love this whole community. I've loved gotten getting to know you guys and everything. So, uh, yes, let's let's make this uh, a big one in the comments, guys. But yes, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of TheBirthdayMurders.net. This is not the final one for me. Uh, we will do one more, but yeah, very, very much looking forward to those comments, guys. But as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, commenting, liking. You guys have been great. I cannot wait to get into that next video, and I can't wait to, to get into the conversations we're going to have following this video. But yes, guys, with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up here. Take care.